Yeah, we really have just seen the Sven versus PA thing so many times. I don't think the win rate is actually as uh, one-sided as you would think. You know, Sven's kind of the poster boy of this uh, patch, but PA's actually done a fair job at taking him down on some occasions. I mean, we have seen PA's just wreck Sven's in the past. Hold the phone, smoke up onto the high ground. They've seen Limp. Can they get the range? Doesn't look like they're going to be able to close the gap onto the Death Prophet here. Although saying that, Stormhammer is going to connect. Never mind. Apparently, Sven's very quick. Now they get him inside that route. Nico Baby's actually coming across to try and help Limp out here and zoning back the rest of Windstrike. They're not going to go into the tier two for this one, so it will just be a bit of harassment, and that's about it. Thirty seconds to battle. Yep. The battle begins. Hold up. I now, one thing I just need to mention really quickly, which is quite important, is that Jukalis actually stuck around here at bottom, so he stuck around this area of the map. Um, gave them really early vision on who was actually turning up to this bottom lane. So whilst S4 didn't actually come any far up the lane, he stayed under the tier 2 tower, but Jukalis, uh, with his great positioning, actually scouted out S4. They know Alliance is making this lane swap now, so they'll be able to do what they want into this, but it does still look like they're sticking with the Sven and Omni uh, in this off lane. Yeah, yeah, they've been, uh, they've been the hot business. So, looking like we're going to have some inter interesting lanes here, but let's start things out at mid, as we're going to have Rail Bull on this Queen of Pain versus Limp on this Death Prophet. How are we expecting this one to go? top lane as they will be able to drop Yamich on the Dark Willow. Looks like she got a little bit overexcited there with the uh, with the Slada and they ended up getting punished for it pretty badly by the side of Alliance. It sure is. It sure is. Very slow lanes. These darn enchants, these darn tag teams, plus the attack speed of the uh, PA plus Dagger also uh, uh, does receive the buff from that tag team. So, yeah, pretty brutal. Meanwhile, down at bottom, S4, he's just chilling and he's doing a great job so far. 9 and 1 S4 on this solo Timbersaw. Uh, he's, he's enjoying life quite a lot. Dice are scanning. Yeah, it's not looking too great for him right now. The impetus gonna come through. Can they finish the job? DK Focus is gonna survive. Had that very fine. Now the staff coming out from him as well, so he will not die this time around. But Alliance just threatening on this trail lane really, really heavily and just giving Nico Baby the freest of games currently. And Yamich even come in, daring to place a sentry. FMG says no, slaps it out of his hand immediately. Get that out of here. This is our lane. And uh, Yamich gets put back in his place. to get hurt real bad. Hanskin comes in with the tag team. Nico Baby comes over and that's going to be an easy peasy kill. Bye bye DK Fogus. Fire on 
many nights that went. The Arcana. Let's give him a little hat. <laughs> he's pretty, he's pretty ballin'. He's one of the heroes which isn't played that much yet. For some reason, has loads of uh, big fancy immortals. And then there's Morphling, who's just got nothing. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. I, I love that, Steven. Thank you for that. Anyways, yeah, this laning phase, it, 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 it is looking very alliance Dyer's right now. I mean, aggressive child, he is starting, but at the same time, S4 is farming even better. And then we look over to DK Fogos, who has doubled his CS in the past couple of minutes to two. Got it. Thanks, no, it's not. <laughs> Don't pretend. Don't run off. Yeah, DK Fergus, I mean, FNG's just bullying him. Just the tornado. The tornado is so bad. The slows. <laughs> he can't do anything. <laughs> oh, bottom lane! Oh god, Hanskin makes the rotation, gets a kill onto the Sven! The one hero is doing okay, they will also bring down Decalus as well, but it looks like Purification will not keep him alive. And now in the top lane, DK Fogus is gonna go down. Three heroes dead on the side of Windstrike, Alliance! They are absolutely destroying this laning phase. Five and zero of 4k gold advantage six minutes into the game. Uh-oh. Got some problems here. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. He is living the dream and Nico baby, you know, he's he, he doesn't have to do anything like his lane is free He's probably playing like Tetris on the side or something doesn't even need to give all his attention to this okay, game currently He's just enjoying Dyer's life. I mean, we'll, we'll get the deny. That's something at least And they're looking for a plan for FNG. Okay, first rotation for a Queen of Pain. She will kill oh, off this enchanter so There's no way for FNG to survive this one <laughs> well, We'll get some stuff a, a, a little a little kill. I mean, it's the first one for the side of Windstrike I hope they're celebrating this. I hope they're going. Yeah, woo, we got this a kill because they need every win they can get. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's... Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's right, fortifications are fortified. They're bringing in the energy to Kalos. They're going to try and fight this one. Robot's going to get that Heavenly Grace put upon him. And they're going to try and make this defense happen as the Bramble Maze gets put down. And Hanskin and Limp will just have to navigate it and get themselves away. Still a lot of damage taken by that tower. But it looks like it Dyer's will be defended. Is under attack. Oh my god. S4 is just like, hey buddy, what you up to? Oh, you found some stacks? Can I join in? No, you're not invited, S4. God damn it. But he's coming in anyway. He wants to take some of these uh, these big creepies here. Gonna get stunned up. A lot of damage coming out to him, actually, is S4 here from Windstrike. Maybe S4's been yeah. not more than the but gets a different chain down to the low ground. Sonic Wave's gonna follow up as well. Not enough damage as Railball. Really trying hard to punish S4 here, and the purification will finish the job. Meanwhile, Aggressive Child is able to run himself away. Lim may be in some trouble as Windstrike cast a bunch of spells onto him, but at the same time, this Jeff Brother, she's pretty damn tanky and pretty damn healthy. Not a hero you can bring down particularly easily so they'll turn their attention towards Hanskin instead as Rebel closes the gap onto the tusk but with Limp Radiant's turning up they're a little bit spooked on the attack. side of Windstrike so they're just gonna let him do his thing meanwhile in the top lane Nico baby he's, he's just farming he is just farming Dyer's as expected middle tower is under attack. and now middle tower Radiance bottom tower is under attack Dyer's middle tower has fallen DK Focus is begging on the lanes currently. So I can have some creeps. Oh, 
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer are scanning. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, yeah, no, Cop's gonna be very happy with that one and maybe kickstart this win strike draft into being able to actually do something on this map because, you know, right now they, they don't have many options, they don't have many tools in their basket. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Three support? You won't Cog. escape. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They're looking for more though. They're looking for Nico Baby. I mean, it's an ambitious kill, and it's not going to happen as a tandy creep wave arrives for Nico Baby to blink across to. And he's going to be able to get out easily. Got it. Time. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, and meanwhile, Alliance, you know, they've got out their hammers and they are deconstructing this uh, bottom tier two tower of Windstrike like a reverse Ikea. Dyer's bottom they are taking it down one attack. step at a time. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. She's so rich. I mean, the position four and the position attack. five are above the position three of Windstrike and has been for a very long time. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah, the Gino is kind of getting beaten up by Railball, but uh, Railball not able to finish the job. Doesn't quite have a better potential. Hesitates a bit, but will be able to actually finish him off with the uh, Scream of Pain in the end. Never mind, FNG will still fall regardless. I think it's only going to a tower, maybe, although the fortification is here, and uh, Windstrike don't feel safe enough to stick around. So Lions are making their way across. Radiant's top tower is under attack. All ones will break. Yep. Clears himself away safely. Dark Willow able to do that. Flies pretty well. Meanwhile, bottom, there might be some plays being made onto DK Fogus here, though. Ah, they couldn't quite get him range. DK Fogus being very, very cautious about his positioning here. Meanwhile, hand skin. They've yeah, got the stun coming out on Tim. Snowball would be available. They don't really want to commit to this on win strike. They just want to use this space they're kind of making for themselves here. Touching my girl. Uh, I'm saying that's kind of like the dynamic between the two of them, you know, like. The chat in the bar, you, you think a girl's single, you talk to her, and all of a sudden this this hulking dude comes out from nowhere and said, Hey, you talking to my girl? And you're like, Radiance okay. top tower is under attack. Uh-oh, uh-oh. a lot of heroes walking into each other right now. Both teams kind of hesitating Radiance on whether to actually unleash onto it. Except Liz, who just pops the exit, and he's not messing around. So we're going to come down onto a grassy child. They did manage to get off the heavenly grace onto him. And a nice little fear from Yamage is going to chase back that excess on DP. Aggressive child going in a pretty creative direction here to try and get out of this one. I'm not sure this is the best way for him to move as he runs into the entirety of Alliance. And now he's just going to get straight up murdered. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, got a little bit too galaxy brain with that escape attempt and uh, ended up getting himself killed, but hey, the rest of the team survived, so maybe what? Maybe what? No. No. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack.
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, he's the only one who's having a somewhat semi-decent game on the side of Windstrike, so they know to target him down pretty handily. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah. Too tricky, too too tricky, and Rebels really has been able to uh, make any plays considering how far behind they are and how far these supports are on the side of Alliance as well. Like one of them has a uh, stick and an urn and is heading towards Blink at alarming rates. The other one uh, and is level seven. The other one has the Enchantress, and almost has mech and a medallion. So God, it's not easy for this uh, Queen of Pain to make any kind of plays even with her supporting crew. That's for getting on top of this shark. Will again drop so low, but we'll be able to get the TP out. Makes his way back to the fountain. So we'll live to fight another day. And Mountain has been picked up by DK Fogus as well. So there you go. Not bad. I'll take it. Meanwhile, dagger out onto Railball. Railball doesn't blink away, so the snowball is not going to connect. But uh, Yashwan certainly will. Now punch up from Handskin. Slow Railball right the way down here. S4 coming across as well. They've got Natos. No blink away for the Quap. She is going to get cut down. S4 grabs that kill. Faded quite nicely. Yeah, nice compensation from him just realizing the downfall of the team and doing his best to cover it. Meanwhile, Yamage is going to get his stairway blocked by a beautiful little ice shards here from Houndskin. Bye bye, Willow. <laughs> yeah. And into the roast pit we shall go. Nico, baby, doesn't even have the death blow to finish off, but says, hey, you know what, the time is nine. Let's get into this pit. Let's take the pages and let's start pressuring this team. However, Slado just finishes playing. The sun has fallen to the radar. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's high commitment, that's that's for sure. But hopefully, Windstrike can find some kind of synergy. to chase down a hasty DP, Dyer's but all the same, big win for Windstrike. All wands will break. Jukalis is kind of dangling his body here, like, uh, yeah, probably not in a great position. Gonna get picked off, and there's a crit coming through from the PA. Dyer's mm -hmm. middle tower is under attack. Yeah. Dyer's 
see spells, but uh, when's going to keep the pressure coming Dyer's out at bottom, at least for the time being, but uh, Lion's getting some much heavier pressure in mid. Probably will take this tier two with this Desolator now up on Nico, baby. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer are scanning. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could have considered Bloodthorn as an option, disassemble that Echo Saber, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. They saw this, they, they have a ward. Radiant's top tower is That's under four, attack. That's looking to pop it. Sees the Sven, says hello. Hang on that high ground, ping's coming out from Windstrike, they're looking to maybe wrap around here, but are they sensing that they've maybe been caught out as Nico Baby just gonna rock up on the front lines here? See if you kind of swap take him down immediately and will do that exactly that. Three hits, and uh, the Omni Knight is gone. Meanwhile, Atos gonna hit disconnected by the Shadow Realm from the Willow. Oh, no, not a huge disadvantage from Windstrike losing their Omni, you know, it does completely negate this idea they had of going in with a DD, but at the same time, the DD's just gonna get purged by the, uh, will, uh, by the Enchantress anyways, so. Oh wow, Lions are actually just straight up going for this right now. Silence gonna come through, disconnect that terrorizes. They are just taking away these towers currently. Guys, Windstrike, hello? They are just letting this tower fall. They are not going for anything just yet. The Omni Knight is back, by the way. They could go for this. Nico Baby still has 40 seconds left on this Aegis. Maybe they're trying to wait it out, but their barracks just fall into the exit of the Wind Strike. I'm being very, very patient. Maybe two seconds. There they go with a three knack. Nico Baby can take down a ton of damage in the start of this fight. New on Sonic Wave's gonna cut through. No one actually dead yet. They'll turn their attention towards the Tusk instead. Maybe they can get this guy as finally the Terrorize has dropped and it catches out the DP just about. She probably wanted to run away anyway. The Lion's now on the retreat, but they did do so much damage in the time they're on this high ground. And they get the God Strength again, and it looks like all they're gonna get for this is a Tusk. So a huge loss for Wind Strike. Hmm. Was it? Okay, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll see if uh, they're able to hold on next time uh, Lions come for their high ground with his exorcism, which will be 47 seconds. Oh, yeah. Fear not Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. With no Aegis, that could be a big threat on the board. Alliance, they want to try and make something happen though before they can reach their timings on the side of Windstrike. Up they go for Hyper. Once again, Hanskin immediately punching up DK Fogus. A very deep dive from him over the tier 4 towers. The aggressive child comes into this one. Gonna kill some creeps rather than goes for the heroes. And so Rebel's gonna throw in a couple of spells, but the loader's gonna reflect that dagger, but Yule's gonna dodge the reflected dagger. Very confusing as the range racks go down. Wind strike. They'll stand their ground. Alliance with the quick strike in. No huge commitment from them, but they do manage to get that range back. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Holy oh, smoke on that same ward again, the value. They know it's coming. Dyer's top tower has fallen. All one. And they've got that vision on the high ground now. This is already great vision out from Alliance. Meanwhile, the Sven running around, but he's starting stuff. Can't really find himself a target. Moves across, looks towards the Tinder Soul, reflected back into his face. He's doing a bit of damage, but not.
not really. It's a timber after all. Aggressive child actually moves with LT. As comes the high drive. Looking across towards Nico Baby. He knows who he wants, but Nico Baby blinked down to the low ground, turns around with the dagger, which Chris, and they will be able to finish off aggressive child. Now when strike their damage dealer is gone. They need to get themselves away. DK focus on the run as the willow goes for the TP in front of their faces with the Shadow Realm does get out okay. And it looks like DK focus is gonna survive this one as well, but still losing that spin is very, very unfortunate for the side of wind strike. I kind of feel like he needed his team to follow up with him a little bit harder. And Stop Alliance just freely cut their spells with the Ellie Vision, which Alliance had. It was really tough, and now they get a side shot onto Slana. A great little ice shot cut in, blocking them off. And now they'll kill him down with a 1,660 damage crit onto DK Focus. And now the barracks are up for grabs on the side of Alliance. They'll spend respawning in 13 seconds. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. <coughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Dyer's top barracks has fallen. Yep. Radiant's bottom Good. tower is under attack. Radiant structures are more fortified. headaches for the side of Windstrike as the problems start to mount up. Really did look like they stood a pretty good chance of actually taking that last fight, but unfortunately, you know, they, they had one denied. opportunity, they had one opening which was created for them, and they didn't quite manage to seize it. And now, uh, we've kind of shot up. It's a 17k gold advantage for Alliance at this point, so very, very tricky for Windstrike. Yeah, I think the biggest problem is that there's only one threat on the board from Windstrike because this Queen of Pain is just doing nothing. Ooh, I shot threatening there, but don't quite connect. So they all they need to worry about is getting the Lotus Orb on the targets which the Spen's jumping on, and you know, Alliance, they, they, there's really nothing to stop them from doing that, is my concern. Queen of Pain needs to find some value. They see this board? I mean, that's what they're sitting in front of it. Kind of inviting them to go in it, which they can see with open arms. He's getting pretty low, but it cuts a snowball safe from Hanskin. Keeps him out of danger, but now the police coming through along with a terrorize. He might be able to bring him down. Sonic Wave comes through, and they'll bring him both down. Espor and Hanskin are dead, but DK Focus going to go down the back lines as Nigga Baby jumps in, looking for a target. However, doesn't want to go up to that high ground. They want to take care of the ward, and they want to maybe think about where Sham with his X isn't going on. But win strike, though, they're pretty strong. They've got this gun strength, they've got this ward, right? They want coming up to Lim. Lim is going to be the target here, but with that load of more Tim Aggressive Card. Top finish the job, so much damage being poured into this then. And a crit from Nico, baby, will finish the job. And now they look forward on the Omni Knight as well. Omni Knight's gonna be the next target as Ducalis will all get his life taken from him. And that is it. The GG's gonna get dropped. They realize there is nothing more they can do in this game. So they will drop game number one and give the win to Alliance.